today we are going to be introducing Ben and Christina Q, and uh, we are going to be talking about uh, some new slipcover and album cover that they have developed with Forbion, and I'm uh, just going to ask them a few questions along the way. So, first question for you guys, what inspires you guys to do what you do and create the way you do? What inspired us is uh, seeing the reaction of our clients. Uh, that also encourages us, but not only that, but it pushes us to continue to produce what we do. I know Christina can explain what happened when we give the album to our clients. Um, just the reaction of our clients is amazing. Um, they love the album. The quality is just something that they have never seen before. And then to top it off with the introduction of Chris Q, the slipcovers, it's just that extra icing on the cake when they first see their album. It's like they're getting a gift. It's something real fashionable. Our, most of our clients are real fashion forward and are concerned about presentation. So it's just a real cool way to present an equally cool album. So that's what inspires us, seeing that our clients are totally happy. Cool, cool. All right, now I got a specific question here for Ben. Uh, since you do your own layout design work, uh, tell us a little about the inspiration and ideas behind the design for this particular book that we're talking about. Um, any layouts you like particular? Um, and you're welcome to show us a few if you want to. Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, this particular wedding, it was based in Austin, and it was an outside venue. And they wanted something that was real bright and bold. So based off our design, it was more into that. It wasn't too much uh, textures itself overlays on the actual design, but we, I kept it real clean where all the richness of the colors comes out. Like I can show you the type of layouts that I do love. One second. Like here itself. Uh, here's actually the first dance, but one one thing I wanted to do is keep it. Well, I had to actually light the scene itself, because if not, all this would be actually be dark, so we actually had off-camera flash on it. But based on the, on the layout itself, I just wanted to keep it real clean and simple, where it's, you know, it, it basically tells a story. You know, the dance in here, then they actually, he's actually so, because I think there's a, the moon out there, right? Mm -hmm. He was actually looking at the moon, they ended up where actually they kiss at the end of the actual dance. But this is one, one thing that I wanted to do, but also you see behind here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's also a picture there and they're actually looking at each other. So on this album, actually, I wanted to create something where it's very clean and rich. You know, it's based off their wedding itself, because not every wedding's the same. So every design is actually different, you know, based off if it's, we should, if you shoot a lot of stuff inside, uh, we, we do incorporate a lot of texture overlays. So we give that real dramatic feel to it. But if it's outside, I still keep it clean to keep the richness of the colors, that's why they're getting married outside. Mm -hmm. Cool, very good. Okay, well I got another question here for you Ben. Um, let's talk about the, uh, the album cover design itself. Uh, which materials did you use and, uh, and why? Sure, uh, the actual album cover design itself was basically inspired by my wife because she had an idea of what she wanted to create. and. What it what happened was we went to Forbion one day and we saw this eight by ten album and it had the split on the spine like this. It was a I think it was an eight by eight, so it was a smaller size yeah, album and it went around this way. And I said, How cool is that? This is our normal this is our typical album. We normally sell twenty by eights. I said, How cool would that be if it was this way? So we asked them if they would do us the favor and kind of wrap it around towards the back. So this is actually a cocoa leather and it goes all the way to the back and on the front it's pearl. And because we chose to do the album this way in this layout, we thought how cool would it be if we did a huge uh, metal cameo. So Forbion, let us have our way with this book and uh, this is the outcome, beautiful design. Cool. Ben, is there anything in particular that, uh, that you like about the, the cover design itself? Uh, anything you want to add? Not really add. I think it's fine itself because it's... I think it's laid out pretty well. You know, everything's... All negative spaces, you know, it's working pretty... 
Awesome. I think it's awesome. I don't think there's nothing else that needs to be added, but I um, think it's great. I think, you know, even when we recently showed this off at a consultation, I mean, the our potential client was just floored. Never yeah. seen anything like it quite designed this way. A lot of times you get your standard albums, and that's one thing I really appreciate about For Beyond is that they take you know their clients inputs to heart they'll try to satisfy a certain design style and i think that's what keeps it um real modern keeps it keeps up with the styles that are coming out that they were able to do this for us we were so happy about that cool all right well uh, let's switch over to christina now christina can you describe the slip cover design for us um, and also give us a little scoop on what materials you used and why you chose those Sure. I actually created this design based on the album we created before Beyond. I wanted a mirror, the album. So as you'll see on the back, we have kind of like a cocoa leather look and it goes around all the way to the front and then there's this light, lighter color. Um, and then when you open it, there's this like plush microsade lining that's really cool. It's got like a crocodile feel to it. And then our little surprise is that instead of just being a traditional slipcover with a flap, um, although it does have a flap, it has a zipper top. So something additional, a little bit of eye candy, it looks a little retro on the side. It's, you know, really cool. Um, and, and there's actually stuff behind this, because uh, I did go come up to her and tell her, why not create a mm -hmm. zipper to actually keep the book itself in place? Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes we do carry books the wrong way, or the slipcover the wrong way, and it actually slips quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But I, I noticed with this cameo, we actually got to protect it pretty well since it's brushed metal, it scratches pretty easy. So I came to her and I told her to actually just create the actual zipper itself to, right. so the book will be in place. So it's quite practical, quite stylish. It's even got down the center another split uh, with some um, top stitching details. So it's just, just adding to the beauty of the album. Um, and here is the compliment to your For Beyond album. Sweet. And uh, real quick, can I... Um so I didn't see both on camera at the same time because okay. I know they kind of mirror each other. But yeah. can you can you show us both the slip cover and the album cover kind of just side by side and uh, love to show us a little bit of a comparison in front of the camera? Yeah, we can just do it up and down. I put the slip cover on top. Okay. Cool. Um, right there. Keep it right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. like that. Okay. I don't know if you can see it from here, but based off the mirror itself, you know, from the spit, from the spine. Yeah. So that's what we wanted to keep. Sweet. Okay, cool. Awesome. And uh, another question for you guys, really our last question. Um, what would you tell aspiring photographers who are looking into getting into uh, ordering albums with Forbion, uh, what they should be doing or looking for? But actually, oh, because we do meet with other photographers, and a lot of them say, you know, where can I find an album where it has good quality and which is made very well? And one thing I did notice about For Beyond is actually they are handmade, but not only that, but the quality itself is very in a high standard. And not only our clients also see that itself, you know, because they compare from their sister's album, and it's there's no comparison based off For Beyond's album. Forbion really does stand for quality. That's why we chose Forbion albums. And I think um, even just their selection of swatches is very modern, very luxury. Um, and they do have a few surprises to come, if I can say that. Um, there's some surprises for 2010, which will keep so many people happy. It's really fashion forward. And I think they're just a leader in the field. They're really um, out to be that leading force. Cool, and uh, real quick, um, I didn't ask this question before, but uh, give me kind of just a brief background on what you guys do, like sure. what, what it is that you guys do, like business-wise. I'll let Ben go first. <laughs> um, I'm the main shooter for BenQ Photography and uh, color correction stuff, <laughs> all that. Design, Design, graphics, I your do. general graphics guy. <laughs> yeah, she does a lot of the business side, like based off finances and booking hotels if we need to travel, uh, you know, travel expenses, should I say. Uh, I'm calling clients, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm the phone gal. <laughs> and I'm his second shooter. I've been well trained by Ben. Um, he's trusting me a lot more, um, so I'm happy about that. I also have my own company, Chris Q's Lux Slipcovers and we uh, have 
awesome styles that you could see on our website. And we also do have a line that we feature exclusively with Four Beyond, which is really cool. Sweet. Well, it's been an excellent interview with you guys. Likewise. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just another great chance to show off some excellent ideas uh, that Four Beyond can produce for uh, photographers. And I uh, hope you guys tune in for next time uh, as we introduce more books and hot covers. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. See ya.